Uh, this is part two of our visit to the Barber Museum. As mentioned before, there was so much content. Um, I mean, geez, we, we could have, <laughs> we could have uh, video for hours. Uh, but as you'll see, there's all kinds of great machines here. I'm going to kind of just sit back and relax and look at them myself, and I'll hop in here and shoot a comment at you here and there. makes all models old new antiques some contemporary stuff all pristine all owned by Barber Vintage Museum nothing is on loan unique nineteen sixty model from Italy the old XR750, the classic of the flat track, still the king to this day. Seven fifty four Honda. I remember walking into the Honda dealer in nineteen seventy. That my father was buying me a mini trail seventy and I saw this seven fifty four first year for those things. I was amazed how how huge it was. There's an unusual piece. That's actually a V8. That's a 1600cc Kawasaki Custom. <laughs> Jawa. When was the last time you heard that name? That's an ice racer. I don't think you like that thing running over your, your toes. <laughs> Beautiful triumphs. Early Sportster, real nice piece. Elvis would have ridden that bike, I'm sure. And in the background, through the windows, that is one of the uh, race tracks. It's a test track. And during our visit, Porsche had half a dozen vehicles out there, all white, numbered one through six, testing. It kind of, kind of look like something from outer space almost. Uh, the uh, exhibits are just amazing. They've literally got them stacked on top of each other. BMW with a sidecar, what a beauty. Uh, exhibit. There's a replica Captain America bike. AJS. A lot of racing stuff. Obviously, at a at a racing park, uh, you would expect that in the museum. As I said, the exhibits, the displays are just amazing, the way they've got things set up. You feel like you're right in Daytona on the bank. Obviously, lots of Harley Davidsons in the, the mix in this museum, no doubt. A lot of the Italian Harley Davidsons. There was a lot, a lot of that stuff there. All pristine, as I say. Uh, just some real cool. There's a Sprint Norton, real nice piece. Obviously, something that would have been appropriate for the uh, Cannonball Endurance Run uh, that happened recently. Went through the. Midsection of the United States stopped in uh, 
Hot Springs, Arkansas, as you saw in our previous videos, we went down to visit them down there, and this is the type of stuff they were riding. Uh, very unique looking trike. But anyway, as you'll see, and especially if you ever get a chance to go to Leeds, Alabama, just east of Birmingham, you'll see one heck of a display of bikes. Tell them the people at Sturgis Museum and Hall of Fame sent you. We do appreciate, sincerely appreciate the hospitality, uh, the access that we had. Uh, they were most helpful, very gracious hosts. Uh, beautiful place, as I said, uh, in part one, it, it's really like going into a modern arts museum. Uh, here's the board track stuff. Um, Short-lived but exciting, no doubt about it. 75 miles an hour on wood. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it takes... Uh, th this industry has, has produced some, some real daredevils, some real passionate people, no doubt. Uh, what a heck of a display they had on the board track stuff. And again, I'm just hitting highlights, what I perceive to be the highlights, I mean there's over 1,300 bikes, uh, 45 or so Lotus automobiles, various other antiques from a Volkswagen to a 58 Chevy convertible, nice stuff, but anyway, we thank you for your time, we thank the good people at the Barber Museum, and we'll definitely be back to check it out again very soon. This is Joe DiStefano www.sturgismuseum.com